everyone and welcome to CFC Fan TV. As you can see, I'm still in the pub. Um, it's looking very festive. I don't have any flamingos just before Roy starts saying anything. That's why I chose not to have a pillow in front of me today. Um, but yeah, uh, this video is our League Cup preview against Bournemouth. I'm actually really thrilled about this. You know, we've, we've got a, a great record in this cup. We've, we've, we've got five, five League Cups and hopefully we can make it six this year. And I think, you know, we're starting to pick up some, some points. We're starting to find our form again. I think our loss against Tottenham was incredibly um, disheartening. And, you know, when we ended that run, we all got a little bit down although that's a separate cup I think we sort of went a little bit shaky for a while um, and ever since I went against City and Brighton I think we've we've picked up our form again so although it's two different two different leagues you know I think our form and our, the confidence the players have um, reflects all our reflects all our games so I'm hoping that you know we can we can win this game and progress further on in the competition because I think this is a this is a really good chance for Sari to win some silverware here I think we have to accept the fact that it would be unrealistic for us to think that we're definitely going to win the Premier League this season. It would be unrealistic for us to think that we have a good chance of winning it this season. I think, you know, we are a little bit too far behind City and Liverpool now. Uh, that's not to say that it can't happen. We never know what, what could happen in the Premier League. You know, our 2-0 win at City was completely um, out, of, out of the blue and, and pleasantly surprising. So you never know. Uh, but I do think, you know, if we're in terms of... The trophies he's most likely to win this season. I think the League Cup and um, the Europa League Cup would be would be top of the list, really. So this is an important game. I don't know how you lot feel about the League Cup. I think some people don't really take it as seriously again, like the Europa Cup. Uh, but, you know, it's an important trophy and I've got some fantastic memories of us from this cup. And again, it's another chance for a day at Wembley. So why wouldn't you want to be be going there and giving it your all. So uh, this should be, you know, a more or less an easy game. I don't think Sari's going to put out the weakest team going. I think he'll definitely make a few changes. We have to use all our options. And as we know, Sari doesn't like to change, you know, his players too often during the season. He likes to stick with, you know, a solid 11 or 12 and, um, you know, just rotate a, f rotate a few. But I think now that we're going into January, we're going to have a lot more fixtures, a lot more games, um, a lot more tough games, especially in the Europa League. So for the League Cup, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit. So I've put a team out. Um, that team is up now. So take a look. I've included uh, Ethan Ampadu and Loftus-Cheek in there. And I think that's important. I mean, there's no reason not to have Loftus-Cheek in there. That's for sure. You know, he's not one of those players that's, that's played consecutive games, uh, you know, like the likes of... Uh, Kante and Hazard and everyone else so uh, and, and also he's good enough to play so I think if we need somebody who is going to put in a solid performance and isn't too tired he'd be the one to go with um, and yeah I've put Giroud in I know we haven't played with a striker for two games now um, but this is a different competition and I think if you're going to go with anyone it would be Giroud as we know Morata is injured but if I'm being honest I just don't see the point in, in playing him anyway. You know, there's Chelsea fans all over Twitter saying, yeah, he's injured, but would he get in the team anyway? Would he be, in the, would he be even on the bench if he, if he was? So, like, we've done a Murata video already, although maybe Sarri was being tactical and leaving him out of the team completely. I think, you know, that's, that's done, with, done, done, Dustin. Now. And I think if anybody, if we're not playing with a striker in the Premier League, the, the player that deserves most of, it, most of the opportunity to, to start would be, would be Giroud. And at the end of the day, his all-round play is good. You know, I don't go into these games confident with Morata. I think playing Hazard up front in this game would be a little bit too much. Um, and I think Giroud's more than capable of winning this. You know, Bournemouth, we have to be wary that, you know, although Bournemouth aren't, you know, top of the league, they are, they are going to be going for this. You know, this is their only chance of, well, this is one of their only chances of silverware. So they're going to go for it. So we can't underestimate the team. I think at the minute you start underestimate, underestimating teams, no matter how good you are, things start to go pear shape so I would like to think that Sari takes this competition seriously like us fans do uh, so comment below and let me know your thoughts have I put out the right team uh, are there any changes you would make in there and feel free to disagree with me you know I think if, if you think I should have put out a stronger team or a weaker team let me know uh, but I've tried to go with a happy medium there and for me it is important that that the likes of um, Ethan Ampadu start although he you know sort of contributed to an own goal um, the other week I, I still think it's important that he that he plays so and you know they get some development in there so comment below let me know your thoughts